Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2019. We are on the final road to Anaheim Regionals, I'm really excited. And I expect to be seeing um, quite a bit of um, this deck or something similar. Um, there are many ways to build this deck and to add like disruption cards to it. Um, this is what I ended up building based off of um, previous decks um, that have done well in the past in expanded tournaments. Uh, called the Honey Badger, I definitely do play standard. I definitely do play standard. It's just um, the next big regionals is um, the next big regionals is expanded, and therefore. Um, I am playing this, yeah? Um, no Crushing Hammers, Collapsing Gribble indeed. Um, expanded definitely, like I don't think you can beat Blastoise anyways, um, Crushing Hammers or not. And you don't need to be, a, like there aren't that many uh, energy advancement decks in Expanded that would merit playing Crushing Hammers, whereas um, Plumeria and um, Team Flare Grunt actually help you against item lock decks, yeah? So yeah, let's um, let's analyze the deck really quickly. We have Whaler DX, the 250 humongous HP Pokemon, basic at that. Um, ability Water Field, not relevant, but whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you remove all special conditions from it. We're not gonna be using that too much. And then we have High Breaching, 120 HP, I mean 120 damage, and then this Pokemon is now asleep. Once again, not very important um, because we don't have any way to power this up. Right. However, um, I don't know why my dog barked just now. However, this Pokemon is here because it can very rarely be one hit KO'd um, in one attack, and therefore you force your opponent to waste resources trying to deal with Waylord whilst you remove their energy, you heal yourself, you play around their attackers, etc. Um, no delinquent just yet. Um, no delinquent just yet. Um, then we have the Circuitry GX, 180 HP, its ability Flashing Head prevents whole damage onto its Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. That's a really cool um, ability to have, especially with the DC based decks such as Zorg and Night March and Expanded. Then we have Rumbling Wires, dealing 100 damage. We can never use this attack because we only have run 2 energy in this deck. However, we can use Lighting GX, where your opponent reveals their hand and you add a card, you find their tether prize cards face down. Therefore, you force them to play tether prize cards. And if you hit an important card, and then the goal of this deck is to prevent your opponent from them drawing any prize cards, that ends up being a pretty good um, idea. Yeah. Then we have an Oranguru with resource management in case we need more resources back in terms of disruption, and so that we never deck ourselves out. And we also have known hand where if we have 35 or more cards in our hand we can use this ability if it's active and if we do we win the game so we might get into a situation where we have exhausted our opponent successfully out of resources and then we just put cards back and then we declare ourselves the winner which is a really nice uh, alternate win condition to have especially if they have something like tier 2 gun, right where you won't be able to um, fully deck them out now, supporters wise, we have so, so many. We have four Stevens Resolve so that we can search for the three cards that we're going to need next turn. We have triple Lusamine, we have triple Acerola, triple um, four AZs, one Cynthia to prevent ourselves from decking ourselves out, double Faba, single Guardian, two Plumerias, two Skylas, three Team Flare Grunts, two Rockets Handiwork to accelerate the decking out process, a Team Skull Grunt to attack energy that they are saving in their hand. We also have four Tropical Beach, which is a really nice card to have because um, we get to draw cards, our turn ends, but we get more resources to deny um, to deny energy, which is the main priority. And we also have a Rough Seas to heal our Wailers, four Verse Seekers to reuse all the supporters that we do have, three um, Robo Substitutes because they also act as Pokemon, but when they're knocked out, they don't give up a Bright's card. Um, computer Search is our a spec of choice to just add a little bit of consistency to the deck for enhanced hammers four max potions and two nest balls to prevent benching ourselves out so let's go into the ladder and play this wonderfully and beautifully um, broken deck 
Um, Jay again, have I tried regular Salamence plus Delinquent combo to bring your opponent to one card hand? It's pretty sick. No, I have not because there's an item that does just that, right? Salamence's ability, you bring them down to four cards, but red card does the exact same thing, except you don't have to get a stage two out. So um, I did play against someone who was playing lands and was playing a Flygon and a Salamence in their deck. Um, so they like they had the elements on the bench and they would use that continually but it just wasn't enough really so we start the whaler that's pretty good no uh, mulligans to our opponent and so remember guys the main idea behind this deck is not to win oh we're up against turbo dark turbo dark is going to be a very difficult match because it's probably one of the only decks that can build up to a one hit ko Right, so we're gonna need to discard a lot of cards, a lot of energy, um, heal continually, uh, perhaps trap something active, although that's not going to be easy to do. We're gonna need some lucky Team Rocket's handiwork flips as well. But yeah, Turbo Dark is a bad matchup because it's a deck that relies on, on purely basic energy and they play so many basic energies as well. So that's a bad a bad thing to have here so we see the energy we see the shaman drawing a few cards not going crazy i guess um and then here in our first turn we're probably just gonna bench both of these guys oh no probably just one because this guy can spread damage to the bench we're gonna see a versus seeker for the juniper so we're in for a difficult match for sure. We are in for a very, very difficult match for sure. Thank you so much for the follow, Sayui. Thank you so much for the follow. We see the compressor getting the dark ride GX out, getting some energy, right? Yep. A great GX and two dark energy that gets more energy into play, which is good for my opponent. Uh, we're gonna see a computer search here, possibly for another shaman, right? Possibly for another shaman. The dark rise GX attack actually knocks us out immediately, so this is gonna be really difficult. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be really, really difficult, especially with all the dark patches. He's only used one so far, so definitely want to bench this guy. Definitely want a nest ball for another Wailer, right? It's the highest HP Pokemon, and then I do believe I Steven's resolve here. So what am I getting? I need to continually remove energy from whatever is active. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab double Tinkler Grunt and the Tropical Beach. I have the loose I mean to recycle these guys. Um, hopefully Tropical Beach gets me versus Seekers. I just need continuous turns of denying energy, denying energy, denying energy. Uh, you can't wait for the new Magilord GX tag team. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty, pretty cool to have, I guess. Um, decides to put my Wailer to sleep. So he is going to use a GX attack. Um, so Jaken, Dark Rise GX move says, if your opponent if your opponent's active poison is affected by a special condition, that Pokemon is come is knocked out. Yeah, that Pokemon is knocked out. So he just got two prizes purely for um, for nothing basically. So definitely want to bench this guy as well. And then I think I'm gonna Tropical Beach for one here for sure. So I've removed one energy so far, which is not great. Honestly, it's not great. Um, I sh probably should have grabbed a Plumeria. Uh, one, two, three, four, five energy so far in play for my opponent. So he's not gonna be dealing too much damage. I'm gonna see a Max Elixir. Basically, as long as I'm hiding behind these guys, I don't have to heal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the Kuzma. 
Yeah, it's just, it's too much pressure. This is how you beat Wailer. You apply enough pressure to where, sure, I'm healing, but I'm also not, um, I'm also not, um, not removing energy, right? So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not drawing any cards with Tropical Beat anyway, so I'm not gonna mention the Wailer because, well, my opponent could win here if he powers up this guy, but he's already used up Two dark patches and a single elixir, it doesn't even attach to it. It's just gonna dark pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get the unknown hand, which is actually decent. I'll go ahead and remove this. Oh, I should have played the ugh, I should have played the rough seas the previous turn. So I could then replace my rough seas. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, there's the escape rope. That's so annoying. Gets a knockout on their own hand. We weren't going to win that way anyways. Let's bring this guy up. And then Faba isn't helping us at all here. This is... Um, I mean, to draw an extra card, I'd rather just replay the stadium and then I get to play this one. But yeah, things are not looking great here. Dark patch, that's the third dark patch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We see a Lysander, so we're gonna have to use AC this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 160, 170, 180 damage. Then we're gonna go ahead and AZ, and we're gonna Tropical Beach here. So to say we are in trouble would be an understatement, right? The understatement of the year. And I'll play this, and then I'll Tropical Beach. We don't have any cost effects, do we? That's a bad mistake. I should have some sort of cost effect here. So yeah, just dark pulse. He's just dealing too much damage right now. This matchup is where crushing hammers would definitely help. Um, lose, I mean, for a double flurry grunt is decent because I finally found a max potion. Yeah, probably one of the worst matchups I could have asked for indeed. Probably one of the toughest matchups, but we're still gonna try it. See another energy. 190 damage. Still needs three more energy to actually win here. So I get to heal. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, So decides to retreat. Okay, so this is where I have to make a call. Do I heal or do I remove the energy? The tell here is that my opponent did not attach an energy. Oh, uh, well, I guess he has this powered up, so never mind. I mean, I have to give up these two prizes though, anyways. Replaces the stadium, no weakness to dark Pokemon. Gets the dark cleave KO. Um, so I need a huge top deck, that's an okay top deck. What I really need are max potions though. What I really need are max potions. And I'll pass, and then I might just lose next turn. Unless for whatever reason he can't get an attack off. Which would be awesome, right? He might not be able to. If he does get an attack off, I'm gonna have to Cynthia and hope for a max potion. Counter Gatcher would be good, yeah. Because you can counter Gatcher plus Team Flurgrunt. Um, 
If you can Team Flurgrant and then counter capture the Shaman. Oh, but he whiffs the attack. That is so good. Oof. That is actually so, so good. Okay, so do we attack his top decks? Or do we play it safe with the Cynthia? I think I have to play it safe with the Cynthia here. Oh, I'm not sure. I think the handiwork is greedy. I think I'm gonna go handiwork. Okay, one heads, verse seeker and end. That's good. Okay. That's good. Um last, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, the hypnotoxic laser is annoying for sure. Now I need another basic ASAP. Right? I need another whale. Oof, Plumeria is nice as well. Plumeria is nice to thin. Okay. I can afford a few turns, I think, of this. Maybe not. No, I should have Lutamined that turn. Oh. I should have lose a mead. Is that game? One, two, three, four, five, one twenty. Yeah, that's game. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's not game. I live. I actually still live. Okay, so I have to Cynthia. And I need to Cynthia myself into a basic and or a max potion. No, I need a max potion. Yep, I need a max potion. And I didn't get it. I only played one max potion this whole game. Uh, I got too greedy last turn. I got too greedy. I should have lose Hamid. Duh. We almost got there though. We almost got Come on, my opponent. Don't be at me. We almost, almost got there. Is this deck full of supporters? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oof. Yeah, Lusamine for Stadium plus Lusamine might have been better. Um, I don't know. I mean, the lack of max potions there really hurt us. The lack of max potions there really hurt us. If I had found a max potion there to just like sustain myself, I feel like we would have been able to win that one. Because my opponent definitely like slowed down big time. A ghost effect would also be good. Like one or two counter gatchers would also be pretty good. One or two counter gatchers would also be pretty good. Okay, so tents on fire. We win the coin flip. Which is nothing spectacular. Our opponent is surprised. We get a Waylord, so no. No tropical beach, which sucks. Uh, no mulligans for my opponent, which is kind of good. We do get mulligans ourselves, which is awesome. One. Oh no. <laughs> Counter Gatcher, Nance Amber, Cynthia, Fava, Gladian, Team Rockets, Handiwork. Is this going to be a mirror match? Is this actually going to be. Oh no, it's Durant. Oh gosh. Okay, so. Definitely want the rank guru against Durant. Definitely want this. And then I guess we will start with the discard. Or not. Never mind. Oh boy. This is gonna be tough for sure. This is gonna be very, very tough. Um Alex. Potentially, but I really needed to dissipate pressure, I think. Trick Shovel discards my team's Skullgrunt. Second Trick Shovel discards my AC, that's fine. Well, it's not fine. Well, yeah, it's fine. I mean, as long as he doesn't hit both energies with the Durant, I should be okay. Right? Should, being the key word. So we're gonna see a Juniper. I might just run him out of energy, right? Life due, that's fine. Oh, decides to Juniper instead of N. Yeah, we need to run him out of energy. The Lusamine. Third Trick Shovel. 
in this turn. Gets rid of the Tropical Beach, that's cool, because then I can get it back with Lusamine and then just get more cards myself, and then we see the Devour. <clears throat> Waylord, Max Potion, and Steven's Resolve. I will take that any day. So let's go ahead and lose. I mean, grab the Tropical Beach and maybe the Steven's Resolve. Right? Now let's grab the, the Skull Grunt. I think that's better. And then we'll Tropical Beach for a single card, which is the AC. We're gonna see a Team Rocket's handiwork. Double Tails is only fair. We flip Double Tails ourselves. Um, now has attached two energies, right? Um, no energy attacks yet for us. Don't think Team Skull Grunt is gonna do me any good. So I'm gonna have Steven's Resolve here. I am going to Steven's and then I am going to get Plumeria to thin my hand. Right, I think double Plumeria and the energy. That way I have the guaranteed out into Oranguru to just replenish my deck eventually. Um, or at least make his devours at worst uneffective, at best. Um, at worst uneffective, at best, um, like even, right? So we get end, understandably so. Uh, we get a Team Flurgrant finally. Right, definitely gonna bench the unknown as well. Hits our handiwork and double his Serolas. So let's remove the energy. Let's bench this so uh, we can draw a few more cards. Lose, I mean, not great. This is gonna be tough. We see the energy attachment go to the active. That's the fourth energy though. Single heads, it gets a versus seeker. Devours away. Yikes. I mean, I have to go for it, I think. I'm gonna have exactly seven cards so I can't use Tropical Beach. Um. Got it. What kind of tech? What can you tag two versus plus level and again and expand it as Zoro Control with Delinquent Red Card Combo deck? Um, honestly, I don't think there's much you can do. I mean, get the lock going as soon as possible and um, I'm honestly not sure. I don't think there's anything you can do. Um, Isn't there a Pokemon? No. I don't think there's anything you can do, honestly. Okay, I have 16 cards left. Oh, but my opponent didn't attach an energy. That's great. That is great. Because that means I can Steven's Resolve, right? Energy for this friend, and then double Plumeria. Energy for our Oranku friend. It's gonna be interesting. An interesting close to the game. Okay, so Super Rod's back, both energy. Is he going to N again? Level balls. Clearly want to rent this prize, otherwise he would have been using T Power for four. Goes for the Juniper though, that's super aggressive. But which I guess is what you need to be doing. This is such a weird matchup indeed. That's the fourth trick shovel that my opponent plays. That is the fourth trick shovel that my opponent plays. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is AC this turn, right? Because I'm getting dangerously low on draw cards. I'm gonna have to AC, promote the orange guru, and then just go resource management. And now all the cards I put back will be safe technically, right? At the bottom of the deck. So 
So now I'm at a stage where any cards he devours, I just put back. Right? Any cards my opponent devours, I just put back. And he doesn't have infinite Team Rocket's handiwork like we do. So how many handiworks? Three and two versus Seekers. Okay, so definitely need to Plumeria. Um, not the Cynthia, probably the Gladian. Oh, the Max Potion. Then we'll remove the energy from the active. And then we're gonna resource management. I mean, at this point, it's just all about the versus seekers, I think. Doesn't he remove your energy? I don't know, right? I don't know. So far, no. There's another energy. There's a Cynthia. I don't know if he removes your energy or my energy or not. Hopefully not. Is our rock still viable? 100% Mega Martin. 100% it's still viable. So there we lost the other energy. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then resource management back. He gets rid of three cards plus maybe two. So I'm gonna do it this way. Team Flare Grunt, energy, Team Flare Grunt. That way, like if he tries to Guzma up the unknown, I can retreat it. The Oranguru should be what ends up winning the game for us here. He's gonna Gladian for that fourth Durant. Took him a while, right? So now he gets the extra discard. The question is, does he have the energy? And he does. So now he's discarding one card every time, right? We're gonna get the Flare Grunt. Gonna get rid of the energy, so one, two, three, four, five energy down. We need him to whiff, right? We 100% need him to whiff at some point. We need him to whiff energy sooner. Well, we need him to whiff energy this turn, and he doesn't. No, next turn. We need him to whiff energy next turn. Goes for this for the Juniper, though. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, so he's down to two cards. So now we Team Rocket's handiwork, right? If we flip heads, we win. Maybe, I don't think he plays Grunt. Oh, he does play Grunt. He handiworks for game. I mean, it's a 50, it's a 75% chance to win the game, right? One, two, three. I, I generally think he Juniper because he has energy left. So Handiwork is our best bet here to win the match. So here goes nothing. One heads is all we need. There we go. Double heads. Double Handiwork my opponent played. You think I play Cynthia? No. I think you go for the 75% chance to win the game. Because if I play Cynthia, I put cards back and then I use resource management, I put cards back, but then he discards them again. It's like I'm not attacking his energy, I'm not preventing the devour, so I just survive for another turn, but it doesn't change the win condition at all. So Cynthia just extends the game um, by one by one more turn, but it doesn't change anything. And it gives him a turn to perhaps recycle a Team, Flirt, a team Rocket's handiwork and therefore uh, deck myself out um, for whatever reason. Yeah, so I think um, <laughs> Tense on Fire. <laughs> Thank you so much for the game. That was super intense. That was definitely super intense. Okay, so one more game with Waylord, I think. Or Anguru MVP, indeed. Or Anguru was the MVP. Securing that energy for the Oranguru with the Stevens was really important. And GG, Tense on Fire. That was pretty intense. The race to decking, to decking each other out. Okay. So, now we're up against Filed. And we start Waylord.
<laughs> Thank you so much for the comment, Tens on Fire. That was indeed a good game. Okay, so Furbank City, Hypnotoxic Laser. Not to worry about that. Floatstone. My opponent probably just trying to send. Goes for the red card. Now that is a bit worrisome. Um, I find a Tropical Peach, so we should be good here. I mean, as long as my Void Red survives the next turn, right? Shaman for two. Um, this might be Turbo Dark. This might be um, Zorark. But Hypnotoxic Laser is weird in Zorark. Okay, so we just see a pass. I am okay with that. So definitely want a Tropical Peach. No reason not to Team Rocket's handiwork, I think. We flip one heads. Uh, poison Bar plus TCE. So this means we are up against Seismitoad. Oh, Seismitoad Survivor. Therefore, I should have played the Versus Eager. Right? I should have played the Versus Eager. Now, this is annoying because... I won't be able to max potion my Waylord after my opponent attacks me with Seismitoad. Therefore, I really need either to deny the energy successfully with Team Flirt with the one Team Flirt Grant or <laughs> my dog is howling. Or um, top deck another basic, right? If I top deck another basic, I, I feel like I'm gonna be fine. I am against Toad Survivor. I am against Toad Survivor. And yeah, this is pretty scary. Not gonna lie, this is now looking pretty scary because the damage is going to pile up very, very quickly. Yikes. I think we're going to lose. That Tropical Beach was just really harsh. If my opponent gets a DC, he wins. Our only hope is that he whips. Uh, Jaycan, I am from Mexico City. I was born here, and I was raised here, and I've lived here all my life. Sleepy Waylord. Oh, an energy could have been good as well, because then we removed the special conditions. So yeah, my opponent's gonna go all in for the DC. If he gets it, he gets it. There's two DCs in the discard pile, so I feel like odds should be in our favor. Uh, we're gonna see an Ultra Ball, so maybe trying to thin to draw Wither and Guru, I'd imagine. Yep, that's the case. Uh, now it becomes a Sycamore of 9 cards, potentially. So can we top deck? I mean, it all depends on the top deck. Well, I guess we can Max Potion. Oof. Oof. That was intense. Ooh, and we get a Stevens. That is actually awesome. We are getting a lot of damage in between turns, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and Team Rocket's Handiwork because I might get... Oh no, I'm not gonna Team Rocket's Handiwork. I'm gonna Stevens for sure. I'm gonna grab another two Waylords and a Tropical Beach. Right? Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so we need to survive this turn, which I don't think there's any way my opponent can KO me next turn. Right? I don't think there's any way my, KO, my opponent can KO the next turn. Okay, we get end, <laughs> which is annoying, but might make my opponent with the DC. Once again, not great odds. Two DCs out of 22 cards left. Less than 50% chance. And we got a basic, so... We got a basic and, a, and an Acerola. Puts back the two DCs. Now we have some very good chances to get them, but no, doesn't get them here, which is great. Okay, so I think we're fine. I think we should be able to win this game now, for sure. I'll play the unknown even, just to be extra safe. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, wait, do I... Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to heal the Wailer. And then... Am I? What do I do? I'm going to Skyla for... For what? For the Tropical Beach. Are we going to get Delinquent Dead to zero? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Plumeria over Beach? No, Sir Panage, why would I want Plumeria? I already had a... Like, all I need to do is survive more than anything. So there's a Stadium, there's a Colrus. 
He's gonna hit me for 30 plus the 60, that's 90 damage. So we're at 220, which is fine. I definitely think Tropical Beach was right there. Because what we need to do is survive, right? That's all we need to do. And he has wasted multiple Hypnotoxic Lasers, which is great. And then with our Plumerias, we should have an infinite loop of stadiums to where... Um, yeah, my opponent's down to 12 cards. Between 80s, other Wailers, eventually energy removal. We should be okay here. I feel we should, should be okay. Yeah, the turn where I Steven. Yeah, I know. Like, I definitely think grabbing the, the Tropical Beach was better. <laughs> I know you didn't mean this turn. So let's go get um, Team Rocket's Handiwork. We got double hands, which is pretty lucky. Because we hit the Hypnotoxic Laser and a DCE. And then we'll Tropical Beach for one. For another Tropical Beach. That's cool. All four Stadiums are gone. All four Hypnotoxic Lasers are gone. With Lusamine and... Uh, Shadow Triad, you can eventually, like, you have the potential to get infinite. Um, you have the potential to get infinite whatevers, infinite um, lasers and beer banks, right? You have the potential. That doesn't mean it will happen, but you have the potential. So I'll bench the Ranguru to just to see more cards, find more disruption. That's the second DC gone now. Technically fourth, but he did play a special charge. And there's the DCE, that's fine. I think next turn I Stevens, right? Yeah, my opponent should have. I mean, that Cynthia seems useless though. Like, why would you Cynthia there rather than when you have um, zero cards left? And there's a victory. So yeah, Waylord, pretty powerful deck. Um, the match against Turbo Dark, I feel like we could have won at some point. Um, we just never found reliable healing. Um, so yeah, Waylord, a pretty interesting deck, pretty powerful deck probably. Still, um, I'm not looking forward to playing as Waylord, but it's just not my playstyle. Like it, like it, it, just sitting here and waiting for your opponent to do their stuff and trying to deny it, it's just not my style. Um, I don't look Mexican, you thought I was Greek. What can I say? I have a little bit of European heritage in my family, American heritage as well, um, and Mexican heritage. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mix of all sort of places. Um, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be all from me. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I'm gonna be leaving now. I have um, things to do and to take care of right now. And then I have a lot of coaching, a long day of coaching ahead of me. So I will see you guys not tomorrow because tomorrow is actually going to be an insane day for coaching. But I will definitely see you guys on Thursday so that we can uh, get our last train before Anaheim. I'll probably play um, the options that I'm contemplating for Anaheim on that day. And it'll hopefully be our last expanded stream um, for a while until we get near to Dallas. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Not tomorrow, it's, I mean Thursday, okay? Thank you, guys, and until next time. Bye-bye.